Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed it into law, a bill that basically would ban nearly all abortions in the state. KSLA News 12's Destiny Patterson explains the ins and outs of this new law. Pro-life groups rejoiced as pro-choice groups tried making a last-minute plea for reproductive rights. On Wednesday, Texas Governor Greg Abbott signed into law a bill that prohibits abortion once a heartbeat is detected. Folks could potentially not be able to access abortion as early as six weeks in gestation, which is only two weeks after an individual's missed period. It makes no exception for instances of rape and incest, only medical emergencies. No matter how that child came into being, even through these horrendous circumstances, that doesn't um, make legitimate the right to kill that child. Legislators took a unique approach, however, to enforcement of this new law. The difference with this bill is that it removes state enforcement of the bill and it gives the enforcement entirely into the hands of private citizens to hold abortionists accountable to follow the law through private lawsuits. What would you say to people who don't agree with you, who think that women should have that choice? Yeah, I would ask them, um, you know, what what they think the preborn child is, especially in the context of this with the heartbeat bill. You know, is that is that preborn child, is that person in the womb, um, a human being like you or me, worthy of justice and legal protection? Um, and, you know, talk through that. And, and if you agree with me on that, if you agree with us on that, then we can't start setting arbitrary timelines of when we decide people deserve protection and when they don't. I'm not trying to pass moral judgment on anybody. And if an individual doesn't believe that they would want to get an abortion, that is their right. But equally, it is another individual's right to decide what makes the most sense for them. Destiny Patterson reporting KSLA News 12. Similar bills were already signed into law in Louisiana and Arkansas, but are not in effect because of ongoing legal challenges.